Hello everyone and welcome back to Easy Education London and these are five ways to prepare for your A-levels. So I know many of you are starting A-levels very soon and it's an exciting time because it's, uh, it's, a next, it's the new chapter of your um, education and many of you may be confused on how to prepare and how to approach A-levels because you've never done them. So here we have five ways for you to prepare. Number one, is to start early. So A-levels require a lot of preparation and studying. So it's important that you start early. Begin by familiarizing yourself with the syllabus and creating a study schedule that allows you to cover all the topics in a timely manner. So what you want to do is to uh, search up the syllabus for your A-levels and have a look at the topics that you are expected to cover within the academic year. And based on that, you'll create a timetable, a realistic timetable for the month, for the week, for the day. And you'll use that to help prepare a revision plan. And this is my advice from uh, doing A-levels. You have to start from the beginning. Um, this is honestly the most effective way to uh, prepare and not panic for your exams. Because uh, the reason I say this is because A-levels, the content is so, so intense. So it's important that you start early because of time and the weeks, the months will go by very quickly. And one thing you do not want to live with is regret. So I would advise start early. Number two, understand the exam format. So each A-level subject has its own exam format. So it's crucial to understand the structure and requirements of each exam. This will help you to tailor your study approach and focus on the areas that carry the most weight in the exam. So it's important they do vary from subject to subject. So have a look at, for example, your um, economics A-level compared to your psychology A-levels or your English A-levels compared to your maths A-levels. So they do differ from one to another. So it's important you can distinguish and know the difference. Number three, you've heard this one from GCSEs and SATs, primary school SATs, practice past papers, absolutely crucial. Past papers are invaluable resources for A-level preparation. They give an idea of the type of questions that may appear in the exam and help you practice time management. Make sure to review your answers and understand any mistakes you made to improve your performance. Number four is to seek help when needed. This is important. Um, so here's where we come in. So Easy Education London, uh, we are running online tuition for students in primary, secondary and A-levels. So if you want to improve, if you want to achieve excellent grades and if you want support uh, and help from a qualified and experienced teacher, do contact our company at, uh, or you can contact our email, easiest way, which is easyeducationlondon at gmail.com and we will get the best of the best teachers to help you prepare for your exams and achieve fantastic results. So you may be wondering, why should I join Easy Education London? Number one, we have the best of the best teachers. So our teachers are qualified and experienced teachers with experience, uh, with years of experience. Number two is our successful track record. Um, ever since the beginning, we've had hundreds and hundreds of students who have achieved grade nines, grade eights, A stars and A's in their A levels and then in the GCSEs. So we have a track record and we know what we are doing. And number three Important is that you get access to free revision material. So students who sign up, they get access to free revision material on our virtual classroom. Um, and also we run debating classes, we run competitions, and all of these things are completely free. Um, so as long as students sign up, you get all these perks for being a student of Easy Education London. So uh, back to our point. So seek help when needed. So don't hesitate to ask for help if you're struggling with a particular topic or subject. Reach out to your teachers, classmates, or even online resources for clarification and guidance. It's important to address any difficulties early to on to avoid falling behind. So, for example, um, in uh, A-level maths, when I was struggling, let's say, um, with differentiation or integration, right? So this is when I was first trying to learn it. Um, I did struggle with it initially, but fortunately, fortunately, because of my uh, high tuition, my tutor was able to go over the key concepts um, and um, allowed me to practice. And that allowed me to build confidence to finally understand the topic with ease. And number five, last but not least, is to take care of yourself. So A-levels, yes, they can be stressful. 
So it's crucial to take care of your physical and mental well-being. Um, so one thing that I did to um, you know make sure I'm staying fit and healthy is to play football with friends um, and also boxing. So whatever sports you do, make sure you are doing it on a weekly basis. So for example, I would play football twice or even three times a week sometimes, and I would do boxing training at least once a week as well. So it's just to keep fit and it also improves your productivity. Get enough sleep, that's important. So uh, don't be one of those students who stays up all night thinking, oh, I'm, you know, I'm going to get extra work done uh, because it's just not uh, feasible, it's not reasonable. And most likely you're going to school feeling tired and exhausted because remember, you have to be up for eight, nine, classes start at nine. Um, eat nutritious meals, important. So make sure you're having lots of fruits and vegetables and you're staying hydrated, drinking lots of water. Uh, reduce your sugar intake, reduce, um, you know, your junk food and engage in regular exercise to keep your mind and body in optimal condition. So that's one thing I've said, and I cannot stress this enough, regardless, um, you know, of your grades, regardless of your abilities, I cannot emphasize the importance of sports, whether it's football, basketball, um, tennis, um, athletics, badminton, cricket, uh, martial arts, boxing, uh, kickboxing, uh, judo, jiu-jitsu, uh, whatever it is, make sure you are staying healthy and you're staying active. And even going for long walks on the weekends, okay, that's something that's um, sometimes, uh, you know, ignored, but it's important that you are doing these things um, to improve your health. Um, additionally, take breaks and engage in activities you enjoy to reduce stress and maintain a healthy work-life balance. So, um, it doesn't mean you just study 24-7. You should be spending time with your family, uh, spending time with your friends, going out. Because again, remember, if you are overdoing it, if you're overworking yourself, then that could lead to you feeling exhausted and worn out. So it's important you have this balance. But at the same time, it doesn't mean you are you know, spending majority of your time resting um, and not doing any work. So these are, again, five top tips for you to follow and consider when preparing for your A-levels. Um, so again, th these are all practical advice. Well, it's practical tips to be fair. And again, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below. Um, as I know many of you are intrigued uh, about your A-levels, etc. Uh, but yeah, so do follow us on social media, on Instagram and on TikTok, which our handle is Easy Education London. Um, if you have any questions, any queries, in regards to our tuition, do contact our email at easyeducationlondon at gmail.com. Um, so I'll say that again. Our email is easyeducationlondon at gmail.com. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share for more. Thank you.